Your second question was to calculate the least squares regression and plot it on the graph. The reason why I'm going to make a few changes to this is because I took out the zeros here. There was a, a zero here. Um, and apparently the solution that I have wasn't updated. It must have been updated on Moodle, but not on my own solution. So just, just bear with me in terms of this being correct and I'm going to update everything as we go on. There's nothing wrong with that because we're going to learn as we see um, what's going on. So regarding the calculating of the least squares regression equation, you will be given a formula. So always refer to your formula sheet and it's always going to be on the last page. So y is equal to a plus bx, that's all we're doing. And what we're asking to get the least squares regression line, we need to calculate this y is equal to a plus bx. In other words, we need to find a and b and these are the formula we are going to use in to find a and b. So if you could just take a quick look at what we're seeing here, okay, you're going to have to do the b first, n times the sum of x, y, minus the sum of x times the sum of y. So I'm going to break this top line into two parts, okay. I have the sum of x or sum of y. I, I always like to work backwards, okay, on this. So I get the y variable, get the sum of that. X variable, get the sum of that. And these are the variable figures that we see in the table that we're going to sum up. Then I'm going to have a heading x times y, and I'm going to sum that up. We leave n out for the moment, and we do the same here. So I'm just going to break this formula down into a table. I'm going to have a y column, an x column, an x times y column. There I already have an x column from the above line, and I'm also going to have an x squared column. And that's just going to tidy things up for me. Because I have an x squared, I'm also going to do a y squared column, because later on, if we go down here to the correlation coefficient formula, we also have a y squared. So I'm going to get everything done and out of the way. Okay. You don't have to put in this column, but it's okay to do that. The country I would, if you were going to do it, IGA, just abbreviate them or put them in as their first letters. Your third level of education was your X, income was your Y. As I said, these were not, these are the figures that we were dealing with that I had plotted. So that's what you'd write out as you would um, given what's featured in the exam question. And the formula told us to get the sum of your X column. So summing that up would give us your 33.4. So I asked you in the chat there if you had a calculator and if anyone wants to go through that, uh, please, um, have a look through it and make sure um, that firstly that these are correct but secondly it's good practice to do it anyway and I'm going to be working through it as well with a with a calculator. So I'm going to assume that this 33.4 is correct to get the sum of x. Sum of y um, I'm assuming that it's 2 to 1.3 but it could be wrong so if anyone could double check on that for me uh, I'm going to add them up here as well. So I do get 2 to 1.3 and that's fine. Okay. The next part of the formula, as we saw here, okay, I got the sum of x, I got the sum of y, and working backwards, I need an x, y column. That's what I have here, x times y. So for every country here, or every uh, individual part of the two variables, you multiply the x times the y. So four by 22 is gonna give us your 88. Six by 22 is, if you wanna double check on that, 132. Okay, and I'm just going to move and I'm sure everything's right, two and a half by 18 is 45. And these are all your answers want to multiply one by the other. Okay, so sum of x, y, if someone can double check on those figures for me. Again, good practice, because this is what you're gonna end up doing in the exam. So jumping back into the formula, you see here x, y, I need to get the sum of x, y. So that's what this total is here. So summing that up, I am taking it that it's this figure, 1010.71, okay. And finally, as part of this um, calculating or estimating the regression, I need to get x squared. So if you see here in the bottom part of the equation, you have an x squared, forget about the sum of for the moment. So I have that column x squared, and for every x value, I'm gonna square it. And there's those values here, four squared, 16, six squared, 36, et cetera. And likewise, we have to sum that up and they have a 152.28, all right? So we can continue with that then. It's always a good idea maybe to put the formula in your exam paper anyways. So plugging everything into your formula, um, we have here n times sum of x, y. n is here, in this case, the number of countries, or you could go by the number of coordinates 
that we plotted earlier on in the diagram. So there's eight coordinates. There's eight coordinates, so n in this case is eight. So eight times, and that's a, a bit of a change, as we mentioned here. Eight times sum of x, y, there it is, sum of x, y, minus the sum of x, 33.4 times the sum of y. And if you're thinking ahead, you can do that calculation over n times the sum of x squared. So n times eight times the sum of x squared, 152.28, minus the sum of x to be squared. Okay, so that's it all broken down into your four parts again. And keep on breaking this down, show your workings on the paper. Just don't throw your answer down as maybe I've done, I could have put in an extra couple of steps in here. So let's do those extra steps. So B is equal to 88085. 33.4 by 2 to 1.3. Okay, I'm gonna divide that by 8.152.28. And 33.4 squared is gonna give us your 115.56. Again, let's work through this. Our answer is going to be slightly different because we made a slight alteration to the question. So 8085.68 minus that right side of the formula, 7391. It's going to give us your 694.26. See it there on the bottom left, it's in a smaller number here, 694.26. Uh, Frank, is the sum of x not one 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 five? Yeah, I, was, I didn't oh, pick sorry. up the extra one. No, I, I just uh, saw it there now. Thanks very much. So um, those two subtracted, I'm sure, is going to give me the one hundred two point six eight I already have there. But I'm just going to double check. It's always good to work through this together, so we're all familiar how all this is done. One hundred two point six eight is correct, and finally for B. We just finish it off 694.26 divided by that 102 will give us your 6.7613 or 614 if you round it up. Okay, so that tells us then um, this is known as the slope coefficient. It also tells us how effective the x variable or the, how impactful the x variable will be on your y variable. In other words, uh, for every one year of education, you will get an extra 6,760 um, euro in your income or your salary. Okay, so that's the, the multiple effect that extra year in education um, would have. That doesn't mean that you should be failing every year and repeating and spending 10 years in college, um, but just uh, for someone who completes education in this example. But again, you might not, be expected to explain what this is just yet. Usually it's later on, you might be asked to explain it and we'll get to it if we're asked here. So that's your B, we need to calculate A. Again, the formula for A is given to you in the exam paper, here it is. A is equal to sum of Y minus B, sum of X over N. It also could be written, and I did get you to write this formula down in the class. I also wrote it as the sum of Y over N minus B times the sum of X over N. Okay, so um, that's the other one I just called out. There is one that I prefer to use, but it's always the same. It's written like this, the sum of y over n minus b times the sum of x over n, the way it's actually written here in the, in the uh, solution. And if I scroll up, I might actually have that formula. There it is, that's the one I prefer to use, but it's all the same. So whatever I have for the sum of y, I go back to my table, and you see here the y column happens to be my second column. 2 to 1.3. So all I have is 2 to 1.3 divided by 8 minus my answer for my slope or my b and times the sum of x 33.4 divided by 8 which is the number of coordinates. And that's all I'm plugging into that value. Again I need to change my b because I did make a slight change to, to the question. Okay and so sum of y happens to be 2 to 1.3 which we saw earlier on. So two to 1.3, just to bring you back up to it. There it is, two to 1.3 divided by eight. Minus the slope, 
and, and the sum of x 33.4. So again, if anyone has that worked out already, you can shout it out. If not, let's take time out and work through it together. So we've done the second part already, 28.2288. And I'm going to divide 8 into that first part, 221.3. 27. 0.6625. Okay. If anyone can confirm that's what we got for A. So my final answer for A minus 0.5663. Okay. So you were asked to get the least squares regression equation, and your answer is your A minus 0.5663 plus your slope and our slope happens to be a positive slope if you see here if it was a positive number if it was negative this will turn negative it would be a minus sign so 6.7614 and that's our answer don't forget the x in there